going? My name is Isaiah Grant. Uh, I have a lot of uh, material that I would like to discuss over um, at most likely a, an extended period of time. And um, what I'm going to do today is present some of this material. And uh, some of it is short. Um, today will be a few pages. Uh, I actually have extended material that I've written uh, just out of pure inspiration um, that spans some some of them span over uh, 20 something pages so I'll have some uh, videos that I turn around and chop up uh, into several videos and um, what I'm going to try to do and what my endeavor to do will be is to illustrate them in such a way that they're not so drab and um, um, lackluster if you will but when all is said and done um this is kind of like one of those uh one of those pages where i'll be talking about things or where people talk about things that um may just uh you may just need to you know put your headphones on just listen uh, uh gather information you know take what you can use throw out what is uh unusable and doesn't really matter um, that's that's uh, usually been my way of going about certain things in life, you know. But uh, I, I like to leave no no stone unturned. But uh, long story short, today uh, what I would like to go over is um, a paper, and, I, and uh, there'll be a few other papers that I go over here today too as well. <clears throat> but this paper is called "The Self Measures the Ego with the Rays of the Moon," and. Um, I'll I'll try to unpack some of the ideas as I go along so that it's not just a reading of you know some of these notes that I've jotted on the paper um, what I'll also do is uh, let you guys know ahead of time that what I'm gonna be doing to uh, basically to kind of keep things going on this page but uh, also too to keep things uh, uh, interesting is uh, do analysis of certain words which uh, um, I'm really really very much into etymology and um, the power that words have, I mean, if you just think about um, in, in many uh, 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 religions and many dogmas or whatever, how uh, the universe was created by the word, the universe uh, uh, was created by the word. The word has uh, such a, a, um, a, a, a organizing power to it and um, the word by separating things, you know, um, which 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 uh, this paper here talks a, a little bit about um, and, and I like to approach things from a, a al alchemical standpoint so I'll make re refer references to uh, um, alchemical processes um, and I'll also uh, uh, possibly leave a picture of a book that will get you abreast to some of those terms because like they're, they're very amazing terms you can take any idea and um, juxtapose it with the seven steps of alchemy and get a deeper understanding of what that may mean um, uh, uh, just in the normal world or basically um, unconsciously as far as unconscious processes are concerned you know what i mean um, and uh, they're they're, they're a, a great way of uncovering uh, self-knowledge as well too I've, I've found that to be an absolute fact in my life that's why i'm so so enthused about uh alchemy in general and um alchemy as well unlocks and opens uh the understanding of kabbalah if you study tarot which i do as well in in uh um conjunction with uh the hebrew language and uh um, the symbolic meanings of each of the letters, of the numbers, etc. It, it will just shed more light on uh, those subjects as well. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to start reading here. I'm going to go ahead and hit this recorder. That way there's a better voice capture here. So, the self measures the ego with the rays of the moon. Measuring is a word that derives from the same root for the coagulatio process. And the coagulatio process, kind of in short, is a process that brings things down into form, that brings energy down into form. Um, desire, for instance, is uh, uh, one aspect that brings things into form. Like if you have the desire to do something, like I had the desire this, this morning to uh, record this video. 
and now it's being coagulated it's being recorded uh on in, in, in into a um an electronic form an electronic format but this electronic format is the vehicle that will coagulate the thought into your mind and may possibly be a seed that will reap uh, uh, many benefits for many people or maybe one or two people even if it's one person i've met my mark so anyways um measuring measuring is a word that derives from the same root for the coagulatio process the word for mud for example and i like to go into proto-indo-european um the root in the ME series for the PIE root, the Hebrew word for mud or mire is also the root of the word for dove. And the word for dove, the root word for dove in um, in uh, Hebrew is yad vav nun, and it and it's equivalent to the number sixty six. And you'll find that it it links with uh, the word for dove, which is uh, uh equivalent to desire uh, if you think about desire we were talking about desire earlier how desire coagulates right how desire makes you want to go and do something and want to uh makes you want to make something happen you know the word for dove in hebrew is yuna yuna or yona you know and and the thing is is that that's the name of the prophet jonah who was swallowed by a giant fish and the the whole thing with that is that uh, if you ever get a chance, and uh, I'll, I'll uh, throw up the picture for that as well, though, too, but the Rosarium Philosophorum, Carl Gustav Jung talked a lot about the Rosarium Philosophorum. Uh, it's an alchemical text. And once again, I like to refer to a lot of things uh, um, that deal with alchemy. Um, it's an alchemical text. And what you'll find is that uh, the dove is, the, uh, uh, is a creature that comes from the transpersonal star the star that represents the self and this dove is the the uh, protagonist that uh, uh leads the opposites to come and join together you know what i mean and when opposites come together that's called the conjunctio and uh, um the conjunctio is how things are created how consciousness is created you know what i'm saying so um Jonah has a lot to do with that, though. It's, it's like a dove, okay, going into an abyss. You can look at the the um, the whale as the abyss, and the whale is actually referred to as Dag Gadul, but this whale is also Leviathan or Lotan, uh, the the one that uh, uh, Bel and Anat, you know, uh, uh, in the I think uh, Sumerian or Babylonian myths uh um that that they went out and fought and uh, um i think it's also said that the myth of bell and lotan is uh 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 it's it's rooted in an ancient hebrew myth and um when all is said and done i mean it's 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 uh consciousness going into the unconscious and ordering it so that it can be made usable and that so creation can happen you know and uh we find ourselves on a physical level doing that in life uh uh when we have to step into uh chaotic situations to make order to make something happen and, and to to repurpose that order to make something usable uh you, you can look into aztec myths as well though too i i like i like mythology from um various sources and um uh one of the aztec myths about that is uh where you have uh tezcatlipoca right and then you also have um quetzalcoatl they in in order to create the 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 new coming age and actually to create uh uh the basis of the world that uh the next coming age was going to inhabit they had to uh fight this being called sipakli who was a uh, a uh, crocodile deity, and um, the thing is, is uh, Tezcatlipoca basically used subterfuge to uh, help um, uh, Quetzalcoatl to deal a death blow to this uh, to this uh, uh, creature, and um, when they killed it, they chopped it up, reordered it, and created uh, uh, several several levels of the cosmos 
with it. And um, you can look into the, the Aztec myths and they'll talk about how all those different levels are the uh, reappropriated body of the chaos being, which is uh, Sipakli, which we, we as, as individuals and human beings have to be able to uh, uh, locate the chaoses in our life. Trust me, you know where your chaos is in your life. I know where my chaos is in my life and what I need to stand up to and what I need to uh, uh, to do. But what we do is we stand up to it in such a way that it's reordered and in such a way that we can utilize those chaotic aspects to help us they, they actually we actually normalize them through the conscious aspect which uh, uh cuts into things and that's what the whole separate audio idea is about is about separating opposites um being able to determine what from what and uh being able to bring them back together because also too too much separate leads to conjunctio and um this whole aztec idea factors really well into what i'm going to continue to talk about um when it comes to the rays of the moon measuring the ego and uh uh i'm going to continue here reading from where we last left off with jonah okay so to know is a choice desire to know is to measure and then um the uh, proto-indo-european root for measure is me me is the pi uh, PIE proto indo European root for moon as well though too and uh, that may be kind of vague and I'm gonna unpack that a little bit though but if you think of uh, uh, ME being the proto indo European root for moon um, me mm, sis mensis if you think about mensis uh, you know we we get words for a uh, month out of that but also mensis is the period women will understand that yeah you know they mark down when they're bleeding time and time again you know what i mean it's 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 an occasion that they have to be ready for and that they have to be aware of you know what i'm saying um measuring if you look at a measuring stick a measuring stick uh has notches on it that allow you to make perfect delineation of what it is that you are uh 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 trying to figure out the the dimensions of and um basically i'm going to continue reading here let me see measuring is the precursor of something going in being put in or something that is about to be cut out so let's just think about that real quick too okay something that is going in you have to measure for that, like when it comes to uh, uh, architect, the, uh, architecture, when it comes to uh, working in homes, when it comes to a, a, a DIY project, do-it-yourself project. And, and if you think about it, nobody ever comes in with a measuring stick and starts measuring things. I don't know if like, like uh, where, you, where, you know, whoever's watching this video works. If you've ever seen somebody at your workplace taking a measuring stick out and measuring something you know, something is going in out or something is going in you know as far as like a new cabinet a light fixture or something so it's measuring is always a precursor of something being inlaid or something being torn out in the process of the psyche and self-knowledge the self is measuring the ego the per and the ego is basically the perspective or perceiver and judge of inner phenomenon it is conscious of it's the watcher and if you think about that idea like the ego is the watcher the perceiver of things the taster the enjoyer of uh, of of uh desire itself you know what i mean uh, and uh the thing is though is it's a watcher that's being watched by something else by another center um that is within it and the thing is though uh may very well be without it too um especially if, if you if you get into uh different ideas in uh, uh psychology and um I, I because i just mentioned psychology a few times i am going to throw out a disclaimer that i am not a psychologist uh i do talk about a lot of a lot of psychoanalytic terms and different things uh uh 
my endeavor um, uh, and what I want to become coming uh, uh, coming up here pretty soon is uh, to get to get my psychology degree. Um, however, I'm just a, a free thinker that uh, is is very interested in the the deep underpinnings of the mind, thought, uh, and and the the different phenomena that that the psyche presents. You know that the self is constantly you know throwing at us. So um, continuing forward, the self is measuring the ego via the plumb line of the unconscious. And this is so because the unconscious, the ray of experience from the transpersonal on the subjective side is lunar. And okay, well, somebody would say, well, okay, where do you come to the conclusion that it's lunar? Um, if you look once again in, into uh, psychological literature, such as uh, that of Carl Gustav Jung, and he, he studied a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, esoteric uh, uh, subjects that led him to believe that the unconscious was lunar. And if you also look at um, Kabbalah, as well, the two which I study a lot of, you will see that the, the third path proceeding from the number one going to the number six, the number six deals with the psyche, the mind, right? is a subjective path meaning it's something experienced and um I, I i really believe that it denotes the ego self access as was described by edward f edinger in a lot of his works uh he, he continually refers to it and i think it's a term that he coined um in his psychoanalytic lectures and uh studies um but it is uh, the Hebrew letter Gimel. The Hebrew letter Gimel is um, linked to the moon. And the moon is, is uh, as far as Gimel is concerned, is that path that links the self or the unconscious, right? Um, the transpersonal self to the personal unconscious or also to what, what you could look at in the way that the um, Kabbalah puts it, right? The Ruach. Um, it, 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 it links itself through the different desires that you have, the different thoughts you have. The ruach is the air, the wind, the spirit, the mind. Um, and that, that, that's, that, that number six or the mind, the ruach, is that through which we are goaded, through that which we uh, uh, experience desire and we feel like, hey, you know, I need to do this or I need to do that or I hate this, I don't like that. Because love and hate, is actually what leads to uh, um, is, is is actually symbolic of that the going the goading process is going on within you, and I'll talk more about the goading process in some of these other uh, videos. Um, this being the first one, there's a lot of stuff that I could unpack in this one though, but I'd like to keep it kind of kind of short, um, kind of kind of in depth. And this is just one paper. I'm I'm already 17 minutes in, so uh, um, but what I'm gonna do is is just show. Um, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to start reading the rest of the paper because uh, uh, I've, I've pretty much explained that Gamel is that path between the self and the, uh, the, the conscious mind. You could say the personal unconscious is, a, is, is another route that it takes. And uh, the thing is, though, with this, uh, with this Gamel, you could say, if you look at it in the tarot deck, it's the high priestess. The high priestess is uh shown as a veiled woman that has uh the torah in one hand and has a scroll uh she she has uh she she, she has certain religious objects in her hands and they're they're slightly shrouded and the thing is 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 what that's kind of saying is that you know we never really fully get the understanding of what is being given in our religious texts and uh through symbolism there's always a, a, an extra installment that's coming in there's always an extra quote-unquote download if you will and that's what this whole moon measuring process um how the self measures the ego with the rays of the moon it enlarges you or rather should i say it enlarges the ego enough to where new things can be inlaid and um 
this is why I think that some people seem to be ego inflated individuals that know uh, uh, a lot about a lot of stuff and they've received a lot of quote unquote downloads. And it, that, that's a word that that's used in the uh, the awake sectors of of the world, like uh, um, um, people that are that claim to be very conscious or whatever, you know, and, and uh, which so, which a lot of them are um, or enlightened you'll you'll see that sometimes they come off in, in a in a real smug way they 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 seem to know it all they'll cut you off they don't want to listen to what you have to say um sometimes they'll just they'll just be talking at you and um the thing is 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 sometimes that that inlaying that expanding process of the ego can lead to an inflated standpoint and then some of them too will seem very very meek very very humble and uh, that, that that that's a whole nother that's a whole nother instance as well though too because it it, it it sometimes it hides the aspect that I'm talking about where they're very ego inflated they they because they have so much really going on deep within their soul they will come off a certain way uh, but that's that's neither here or there I'm gonna I'm gonna stop about that and we're gonna continue going. So, uh, let's see. The self is measuring the ego via the plumb line of the unconscious, letting it know that in order for it to be inlaid with pearls, pearls is a, is a word that means uh, the same thing as the moon, the same thing as the high priestess, higher knowledge and riches. Something needs to be cut out or repurposed, re-annexed. And we were just talking about that earlier. The rightly enlarged ego, and we were talking about that too, <laughs> becomes the receptacle of the divine self with proper rearranging to measure under the appropriate standpoint and under the appropriate standard. So basically what I'm saying with that last part, and there's, there's, there's a few other things that could be read into it, is that in order to be... Somebody that's conscious in order to uh, uh, to truthfully be that you really have to be under the true tutelage of of uh, the self. You, you you really have to be open to that. You really have to understand what that is and really be striving to understand what that is. And it's not about all these crazy downloads that you get. I mean, I honestly. The, these papers that, that uh, I'm going to be reading from are quote unquote downloads that I've gotten and stuff, you know, that ha have, you know, touched me enough. I, I was enthused enough. Enthused being a word in Theos, you know, like if you look at, at the, the, the seven, um, the seven uh, aspects of libido interest, enthusiasm is uh after attachment you know what i mean it's past attachment it's past uh it's past desire it, enthusiasm is actually uh linked to the greek word in theos you know what i mean those two words meaning god inside it, it it's it, so if you're enthusiastic about something um a lot of times that's that's where you can find the god image and uh even analytic psychology will talk about that because once again the 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 seven steps of libido um interest the, you know the 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 analytic psychologists are using that to determine what where your libido is where where you, where the god image is so that they can find out what symbol it's stuck in or or what what symbol brings it out and, and and they 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 begin to amplify on that you know what i mean so so that they can know more about you know no and so they can know what to tell you maybe that you shouldn't do or maybe keep going for this and keep doing this you know and 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 and, and that's kind of what that gold, whole golding process does to you as well though and telling you go for this go for that your, your your libido will point to you and tell you go for this go for that or it will tell you I'm I'm disgusted by this. I'm repulsed by this, you know. And it's either through love or hate that um you 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 will seek unity in something, you know. But uh it kind it kind of makes me think too of the the scripture in um the Bible 
and I like to refer to the Bible a lot too because it's part of the uh, uh, the unconscious of Westerners. I mean, it's 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 part of our DNA. You know, there's there's not too many individuals that don't know about Jesus, don't know about God, don't know about the Bible, um, and cannot get something out of reference is made to that if we understand it through a symbolic lens, right? And um, there's a, a, a statement in the Bible that says, um, let me think real quick because I just lost the train of thought. Um, this is where I might have to cut it. Ah, here it is. If you are lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth. And I'm actually going to look this up and I may put it on the um, on the window here for everybody to see. Because it, it, it it's something that, that uh, uh, with what it is that I'm reading here, though, with connecting to yourself, with allowing the self to measure you through the rays of the moon or through the influence of the unconscious, right? In order to be inlaid with riches from the unconscious or from the transpersonal self, right? Sometimes it takes things coming out, coming out of you. But the thing is though, is it takes your um, cooperation. And the thing is, if you don't cooperate, you don't get anything. If you repress these things, what ends up happening when you when you when you repress the the the, the influence that it has, when you're pushing it aside, oh that's nothing, oh that's nothing. A lot of times that that's when the split off comes, and it's probably already there because you haven't done any work with your shadow. You haven't done any shadow work with, which analytic psychology talks about a lot in uh, approaching the shadow. Um, is something really amazing. And uh, the truth is, sometimes the shadow approaches you. And uh, I would like to talk about that in, in further um, um, lectures or th further talks that I have here on this channel, because sometimes the, the, the shadow approaches you. And I have something really big that I want to talk about on that subject, because there's a lot of people that the shadow has approached and they know about the situation they know about that encounter but um from what i've seen and from what i've looked at online because i scour i scour the internet uh looking for wisdom looking for knowledge every day um it, it it's something that drives my life it's something i'm enthused by so the my god image the god image that is is uh, 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 um, pushing my energy along, pushing my life along into a certain direction is at the basis of the things I do. And, and I go with it. I go with it. And um, I've noticed that they don't talk. They don't talk uh, uh, about the real true import of the, and I'm going to use the word advent of having the encounter with the shadow and uh, uh, what needs to be done about that you know like like how to approach that though and i i will talk about that here on this channel uh coming up in the days ahead anyways i'm gonna look up this uh this statement and it, it's it's very pertinent to what we're talking about here if you are lukewarm i will spit you out of my mouth kjv because this is the thing right check this out so in Revelations, I think this is um, where, where God, a.k.a. the transpersonal self, is talking to the churches and is speaking to one of the churches. And uh, the, the churches are actually symbolic of certain things. I'm not going to go into that and make this, make this uh, longer than it needs to be. But uh, either or, basically what I'm going to talk about here is the... Um, Oh, so the site can't be reached. Let's go to another one. I'll read the full chapter, but I'm not going to read the full chapter. Okay, so to to frame this, yeah, here it is. To frame, so to frame this within what I'm talking about here is that that we as conscious individuals, if if you consider yourself conscious or you're coming into consciousness, conscious awareness of the transpersonal self, you have a job to do. You have to uh, uh, pay attention to those influences and those influxes that are coming into you. 
via the ray of the moon gimel in the in the kabbalistic system you know you have to pay attention to these nuances and the thing is is you're gonna see what the self is trying to tell you through synchronistic acts things that happen things that come to you in your life you, you'll be like man dude i was just thinking about this um and, and and this is how it inlays you with things and then sometimes it gives you messages of you know hey you need to cut this out of your life and make and make more room for what it is that I'm trying to feed you, what it is that I'm trying to show you, you know what I mean? And even in a, and that all, I mean, if you've ever been in a church, if you've ever been part of a church group, I mean, you've probably heard that too from um, your pastor or from some youth group leader, like, you know, you, you know, God's trying to talk to you and tell you like, you need to, you know, draw closer to him and da da da. da. It's, 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 it's kind of the same type of idea though, but uh, we each have, and I'm going to kind of get into saying something that will kind of make the way for another topic. But um, we have watchers that are almost, you could say, like how we are to a point of where my name is Isaiah. There are many Isaiahs in the world, but I'm, u- I'm a unique Isaiah. I'm a different Isaiah than all the other Isaiahs, and so are they. They're like a fingerprint. We have watchers that are like fingerprints as well, a little too. You know what I mean? And uh, we're gonna, we're, I'm, I'm gonna get into that and and name these videos by topic, so you can go and and check up on certain topics by talk. But anyways, I'm gonna read about the call, the call to, um, the call that that the transpersonal self is trying to give you via this measurement. And um, basically, it's basically saying, you know, you, that, that, that you have to be turned on a certain way to it. You know that, 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 that it's, it's being spoken to you. If you don't address it, if you don't do something about it, you're basically going to create, it's going to, psychologically, it's going to create a split off. Things are going to be happening that you're not aware of. Why is my life going down this road? Why is my life going this way? A lot of times you have some split off activity going on and it's a split off of your shadow. And the thing is you have something inside of your head and possibly outside of yourself that's working outside of your will, what you really want for your life. And that's because you're not taking the call. You're not taking the call on. But anyways, I'm gonna read this here and it says, and unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things saith the Amen. That's an Egyptian reference. We'll get into that sometime too. The faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So either be on this side of things or be on this side of things, right? So then because thou art lukewarm, you're in the middle, you're 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 being wishy-washy, so so about it. And neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in in the fire that thou mayest be rich and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear and anoint thine eyes with eye salve that 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 thou mayest see. So you have the word salve in there, solutio, cleaning, making, making, making the insides clean, drawing closer to the transpersonal self. You know, we all have a, a, a past. We all have uh, things that we've done in our life, ways that we're probably that, that some of us are still living out. You know, and and the proof is in the pudding. And the thing is, is is the self wants to make you clean, wants to clean your paths, wants to pull things out so that it it can inlay riches. But the thing is, it, you know, there's another another scripture that goes in a way with this that says. Not to cast your pearl be, before swine, because if you do that, a- after they're done trampling the the pearls, they're gonna turn and tear you to bits. You know what I'm saying? So, 
the, the, this this scripture that I just read in a large way it's speaking to about the fact that the shadow needs to be dealt with the shadow needs to be dealt with and the thing is is uh what i will say in closing before i read this last portion here of this paper because uh we're 34 minutes in um the last thing that i'm gonna say here is that we we basically we basically one of the first steps that we got to do in um even the, even initiation you could say or individuation which is uh the, the analytic psycho psychological understanding of initiation um the first step is actually to face the shadow is to actually uh, uh basically take out the trash and, and, and not really take out the trash, throw it under a rug or put it under your bed. It's actually to, to, to take it for what it's worth. Take your chaos, order it, and order it in such a way that it's usable. Order it in such a way that you've channeled it and that, that you can canalize it. Um, for, for me, for instance, I'm going to give you, a, 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 and I'm going to like to, a, and I'm really going to like to do this with you guys to uh, uh, speak about ways that I've done it. What have I done to make that step? Um, without going too far in, in the things, because this is the first video, I mean, uh, um, back in the day, I was I was a gang member, you know, um, and uh, there was a guy I met a long time ago that told me, man, you know, your job is to un un. We're all we're all of age possibly here, but uh, and I'm gonna put no the video is not for kids because I don't want it on a mini uh, mini player. So I'm, I'm just gonna be candid. He told me, your job is to unfuck yourself, and I, I kind of got. You know, I kind of got pissed off because I was I was a very uh, hot headed youth around that time. You know, I was the type of guy that, you know, I didn't like something that you said. I probably would go upside of your head, you know. Um, and I asked him, I was like, like, what do you mean by that? You know, and uh, he told me your job, man, as 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 a man, as a young man is to unfuck yourself. Basically, you, you you're you you're all in a knot. You're all in a tangle and you have to find out where all those tangles are. And, and 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 pull that out pull 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 everything out so you can lay it out and actually see what it is that you need to be doing with your life and see where you're going you're you you, you obviously got in the ruts that you're in right now because you're you're fucked in the head man you know what i'm saying so i i you know that 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 was one of the many calls that i got from the transpersonal self from the unconscious through synchronicity through individuals that told me something that I needed to hear that got me on the path. Now, the thing is, is uh, 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 the root of a lot of the issues that I had was abuse, being abused uh, um, as a youth, uh, having a lot of friends that died, um, being in situations, uh, a lot of situations that were you know, literally life and death, you know, uh, I, 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 I can remember looking back on my life. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm uh, 39 years old now, but looking back on my life, I remember when uh, um, I got, uh, I turned 19 years old, you know, um, I was amazed that I, I made it to that age because I had so many friends that have passed away prior to that age, you know, and there were so many people in, in, in the, uh, the, the late 80s, early 90s you know what i mean mid 90s that that was an era where all that type of stuff was going on and you know i i came in around 83 so i was in the mid 90s late 90s you know what i'm saying getting into the 2000s there, there, there was a lot of crazy stuff going on you know and um i i because that was a social norm you know what i mean you know youngsters in california and los angeles gang banging you know what i mean i i became part of those things and i had to find a way to recognize the anger that i had recognize the problems that i had recognize these different things and it was only through the the, the help of the transpersonal self with different individuals that i was able to meet that brought me to uh, certain conclusions and, and and through certain 
very numinous, very spiritual situations that uh, 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 showed my shadow to me to a point of where I was able to make use of the lessons that e even those situations gave me, which I'm going to talk about. I don't want to I don't want to get give it all up in one in one whop because uh, 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 th th these these are topics that really need to be fleshed out because I know people are going to get a lot out of this. But long story short, um, I, I had to canalize right channel or find something symbolic where to put all of that negative energy okay and 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 that goes to show that like the negative having negative energy having you know crazy outrageous energy it's not a bad thing but the thing is it's a matter of what you do with it though you know you have to repurpose it um um th this type of work is actually like recycling you know, it's a matter of recycling the negative, quote unquote negative. And, and then let's get into that for a second. Why would it be called negative that I am a violent person? Why would it be called negative that I am the type of person that has a, 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 a lot of times? And now, I mean, it comes at a, as a hero's disposition. A lot of times I'll, I'll step up for individuals that are being disfranchised, being uh, um, um, bullied, different things like that. I'm, I'm also a security guard, so I have to do that, but it's something that's inside of me. Um, I, I canalize this through mixed martial arts. I, I'm, a, I'm a competing uh, mixed martial artist and Brazilian jiu-jitsu competitor, you know, and um, having done that since 2010, to the present has kept me out of so much trouble and many people that I know there and um, the individuals that are around me that I call my brothers in my community, a lot of them are ex-military, have been to war, have uh, a, a lot of them have the same type of story as me, you know, which I'll, I'll develop a little bit further as, as I continue to make uh, um, talks on this on this uh segment but um when all is said and done i mean like who who is to say that the energy that you have within you that that which drives you is wrong society um jacques lacan's big other who we don't know the name of the father the freudian superego um, who we have many different representations of, but cannot put one name and, uh, other individuals that have a conscience that will say that this or that is wrong about you. And, and it's not just, you know, my, my, my personal shadow issues that I've had to wrestle with and, and integrate, you have that work to do too. Um, however, there are other individuals that, that, that have, different other situations you know so somebody could be a whore somebody could be a drug addict somebody could be um um uh, uh, uh a chronic liar somebody could be uh uh a thief you know we, you know there, there, there are a lot of different a, a lot of different a lot of different places that a person could be put and then there's several different ways that those negative quote-unquote energies can be canalized can be channeled in ways that can be reappropriated back to the community and integrated in a way that nobody gets hurt and that and that then that everything is actually all right and well you know um so i i i say all that to say that but um i'm going to continue with the last of this paper and i think that i really uh, uh touched on everything that that needs to be say it said at, at present and this will be the first talk. I'm, I'm gonna come on here when I have the time and when I have uh, uh, you know perfect silence enough to speak about some of these issues because they're issues that touch your life. They're itch, they're issues that are important to you because why? Because they're important to me. I'm a human being. I'm a human being um, that has needs just like you do. That may approach life in a different way. That may have uh, historically approached life in a different way, but that has had to find find a way to channel um, the energy. And it's really at the end of the day that has find, had had to find a way to channel energy from within inside of myself and link it to certain things that can bring equilibrium and balance and that that that's the whole key with everything i'm talking about now um i'm gonna read some final things that make it me sunk here but anyways um 
ME, which is the uh, Proto-Indo-European root for moon, is a perfect root for this illustration that I've given here, okay? 265 is uh, the number uh, uh, via Gamatria for the moon, which is Sahar in, in Hebrew, moon, okay? 265. Now, um, we are also going to look at the word Bith Sahar, okay? So, Bith is the word for, or Beth is the word for uh, uh, the house, okay? Sahar is the word for moon. So Bith Sehar is the house of the moon or the lunar house, okay? It is also prison. It is also jail, okay? It's, a, it's also the reference for those things. And if you think about that now, let, 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 let's get into like a metaphorical thought on that though. A prison house, a jail, a place where you're trapped. You can be trapped. Uh, and then there are also people in prison or jail that are freer than anybody else in society because they've they've realized that they're at the bottom and they realize that they have nothing and they at least have their their inner freedom their their soul their mind at least they have maybe they have a a, a spiritual walk with god um maybe they have something of that nature that gives them uh uh the will to carry on while being in such a daunting situation. Now, if you think about it too, uh, a prison house is also the body. And how could that be so? Because if you think about it, your thoughts are free. You're able to try. I, I, right now I could sit here if I zoned out from this video, but it wouldn't really be that intriguing of a video if I did. I could travel for to, from here to China imagine it and probably my imagination would be almost as accurate as actually being there in china other than the fact that i might not be able to instantaneously unless i get into like a trans state smell taste hear things uh uh, uh and, and really fully experience it but i can i even have a mental picture of it now in my head i can fly i can do whatever i want to do especially when i'm free of the ego and just have enough ego to be a perceiver as far as consciousness is concerned in the dream state, which occurs in the house of the moon, Bith Hasad or Bith Sahara, right? So um, the thing about, about the body being a prison, we can also um, reference the idea of the Tesseract. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen a 3D model of a Tesseract, how it, it, it's basically um, a th three-dimensional cube within another three-dimensional cube. And if you've ever seen the um, the animation of uh, Tesseract, it's really amazing because it devours itself and then it will come out on the other side and re-devour itself and then come back out on the other side to re-devour itself it's a continual devouring and it, it's it's metaphoric of the human and the psychic psyches condition um being trapped is is a, is a real thing and 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 that's a state of mind if you're in a physical body and you're plagued by repression you're plagued by a split off part of your consciousness which is the shadow if you will right um within the personal unconscious that 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 split off can it, it can terrorize your life it can terrorize your life it, especially because you know because I've done it and I can say it, um, you know, you're constantly, oh, man, you know, like some, some people say something like, man, you know, that that's it's no good, man, da, 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 da. man, you'll 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 toss another rug. You will know that what they're saying is true. You have some slight conviction in your conscience about it, but you'll slide it under the rug. And before you know it, you're doing some bad thing, quote unquote, something that's destructive, something that's terrible, that's harmful to others. You're doing it one time. And then before you know it, it becomes commonplace and you're doing a thing there every day, you know, um, and, and, and you you rationalize it to yourself just because everybody else is doing it. And this is the status quo. This is the norm, you know, um, 
and 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 that creates your your inner existence to it in, in, into the form of a prison you know getting free of that is finding a way um once you have gone through the mud enough to realize that hey you know what this is what life has become this is what i've done to myself this is where you know where things have gotten me and you know what i, I need to find a way to make even this energy this crazy energy work you know what i mean it, it, especially if you're you if if, if it's really something that that that's linked to the core of your 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 personal being you know some people are living out of a a a a a, a total facade some people are living out of just wanting to please others some people are really living a life that is destructive to 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 them because at the core of them there there are these these motivations that are pushing them and it seems like the 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 group that they're with or what it is that they're doing that is term negative gives them something back to themselves for that that part of them that the world doesn't understand or that you can't integrate and like what 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 I'll I'll really put like a a, a number on it again some numbers guy right um what they call there, there's 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 a system that they call the uh, enneagram right and um the enneagram basically being uh, nine personality types and these nine personality types uh, uh if you really get into the system and understand it which i've done some extensive study on it um it it, it actually shows you your or it gives you a glimpse into your shadow you know in, in into your uh uh what you what what you love in life and then also to what's what's kind of terrible about you what's kind of dirty about you and that and, and what's kind of terrible about you what's kind of dirty about you as we even read in in that scripture was the the shadow aspects and i'm going to go back over that that one part that represents the the shadow aspects right okay because thou sayest, I am rich and increase with goods and have need of nothing and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. The, the next verse, he basically saying, well, I'm basically telling you, get, get your own riches, go in and do this, make yourself clean or whatever. Da, 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 da. Go, go and do it if you think you do it and you got it all. You know, usually that that that's how we turn around and sound when we think that 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 we got it all figured out. And and a lot of times we don't, man. And we're really at the end of the day, none of us has it a hundred percent figured out. We're all inching closer and closer to the truth via the self, measuring the ego with the rays of the moon. Throw throw the tag in for this uh this this talk, and 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 that's what it is. Little by little, being increased. Little by little coming to more truth little by little coming to more knowledge but the thing is is an inflated ego and then sometimes even a deflated ego that doesn't even feel like it can will act like it has it all put together i mean um even the uh, um there are these negative confessions of the egyptians that they're said to repeat in the uh, judgment hall so that they can actually uh, uh make it to higher levels and and and, and to to uh, uh, um, deeper levels into the underworld in the afterlife and the negative confessions basically is like I, basically basically i'm paraphrasing are kind of like i have not defrauded i have not cheated i have not killed i have not committed adultery i've not done like the things that you'll see in the ten commandments well you have not done any of those and, and you, if you looked at the long list you'd be like stop lying you really would say stop lying we've all done these things you know what i mean but i think in in the the only way that something like that could be true because keep in mind in in in, in the in the structure of the way that it's laid out it's like yeah they get admittance into the afterlife after saying all of those things into the unconscious so maybe they 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 were pure in those ways you know their their, their heart had to weigh in the balance of ma'at which is the is the god of justice order and truth goddess rather um it had to weigh even it, it, it you know they're, 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 or, or, or they're, the heart had to be lighter than the feather you know what i'm saying and if you think about that a, a piece of meat being lighter than the, the the feather of justice order and truth man that, that 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 that's that's a hard bargain that, that that's a hard that's a hard line to push right there you know what i'm saying but 
the thing is it's possibly true if all the negative things that they did they found a way to channel those things they found some group some organization some calling that allowed them to uh uh, uh become something better through those aspects of ill nature that they had and they th- those groups or maybe some calling that they came upon or that the self synchronistically put in front of them they were able to step into that calling and change that energy around redeem that energy then then possibly that would be true right but anyways back to the prison house and we're still talking on 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 that level right um it biff sahar equals 677 once again that's prison jail lunar house house of the moon is what that means right now check this out this is the 11th unit in the supra ordinal direction so basically what that means is um no 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 not super ordinal direction in the infra ordinal direction going down okay 66 67 68 69 70 71 all the way to 77 okay it's the 11th unit in the infra ordinal direction okay of 666 now 666 is the the is is uh related to 677 in the superordinal direction okay now why why are we talking about 666 right okay i'm gonna break this down because six consciousness or man or mind that's what six represents is consciousness man or mind times 111 god or self. Why does 111 equal God or self? Because the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet is Aleph. And Aleph is Aleph is 1. Lamed is 30. Pe is 80. So 30 plus 80 plus 1 equals 111. And 111 is the first letter of the Hebrew al- alphabet, which is the number 1. And God is 1. 1 to 6 in the Kabbalistic system, and I may be able to show that on the the screen once I edit this, one to six is that self-ego axis, right? It's not saying I am a God, but it's saying that God and I have a link and that we are cohabitating and understanding and striving to understand one another. God knew me or the self knew me before I knew it consciously but it took me to go through the egoic stage of suffering sorrow and and bumping up against people things and objects to recognize who i was and really who i was not so that i could get to a stage to where i say hey you know what this this battling with the ego this this playing with the ego is 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 not really it this is not who i really am but now that I understand that this is who I'm not, I want to know who you are. And that you is, when I go like this, you is you. It, 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 everybody has God within them. Everybody has the self within them, though. Although they know it not. And, 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 and in culture, we're kept from that knowledge because people are always saying God's out here. No, God's in here. The kingdom of God is within you. So... 111 equals a God self. So six times 111. Six being consciousness, man or mind, times 111, God slash self. So I write here in a, a, in a parenthesis bracket, the experience of consciousness, the mind, which is six, right? Becoming aware of the self, one, or 111, can cast illumination on the truth that the body of limitation is a prison, or that consciousness in union with the self is the truest and highest thing proper integration is the key and i've talked much about that already so this is this is just you know in closing the ego must be ready to leave behind its shackles and that which allures for the shadow of the infinite light is an infinite darkness and and carl gustav jung said something to that uh to that uh, effect and people quote this one all the time and i'm going to paraphrase it that um no tree that ever reached up to the heavens reached up to the heavens 
unless its roots went all the way to the darkest and deepest depths of hell. So that is something to think about that we we all have our roots in a hellish existence and that we all need to do uh, work to understand the shadows so that we can get to the levels of the anima and animus. Well, I'm going to talk more about that different stuff. And then through the anima and animus, we get understandings of the collective unconscious of these symbols and what they really mean. And that's that, that that's really what the moon is doing by measuring the ego and enlarging it, taking things out, putting things in and, and speaking to the egoic consciousness through parable, through uh, symbol and through myth. So this has been an hour. It's been lovely. I hope you've been uh, enriched by uh, just this one document. I was actually thinking I was going to get through a few more today. But uh, as I have more time to put these together, I'm just going to start reading them out and start uh, speaking what's on my heart to talk to you about. Because I really, really, like I said, I really believe that uh, through all this babbling, through all this talk, that somebody's going to get touched with some level of knowledge that's going to spark a flame or make them aware that they had that flame under them already to get linked with self-knowledge because it, it's the greatest thing it's it's to me it's the only thing that that really even matters in life you know everything else in life to me it comes secondarily and every everybody that's around me that that's blessed through my living through my existence through my being I notice that they're blessed and that and that you know that's a real churchy churchy type of word to use blessed but they're benefited by my being alive because I'm able to see from a higher perspective, see from a wider, wider perspective, see the bigger picture. You know what I mean? And and that's what self knowledge will do. You know what I mean? But um, you there, there 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 there's nothing like doing the work. There's nothing like getting in the trenches and and and, and actually um, taking the time, taking every second, having practices that you do that allow you to see it. And, and, and allow you to see it in such a way that it, it becomes a, an unconscious compulsion. You know what I mean? And then not just an unconscious compulsion, but also a, a conscious act of mindful worship. You know, and um, that kind of sounds crazy. That kind of sounds weird. I know. And But what I mean by that is like you're consciously mindful of everything symbolically and the symbolic imports of everything um and you're spoken by the uh you're spoken to by the self through the symbolic aspect i mean and, and that symbolic aspect is in everything and, and and as as you start living your life and doing that and I, and, I, and my goal as i am going to repeat and as i'm showing here is that uh, uh I, I wish to put out information and to elucidate information in the best way that i possibly can so that individuals can come into that pragmatic state of being because i am also a pragmatist i like uh, uh to speak on to uh, uh to uh do and to engage myself in things that work i don't like doing things that don't work if it doesn't work why 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 continue to 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 push on with it you know what i mean um um i i, I like i like efficiency and pragmatism over over just just things that are wishy-washy and aren't going anywhere so hopefully you've been uh, um hopefully you've been touched by this and that and, and that that you've learned something from this and that you've gained something from this um next talk will most possibly be on let me see i think i will come out and do something on huh. i think the next one i'll read is is on elucidation of speech or word via symbolic means since that's the the last thing that i stopped talking on um and the symbolic means is basically the rebus and I'm also going to talk about its correlation with the rebus. It's rebus and rebus it sound like the same thing, but it's not the same thing. Uh, um, um, rebus is basically the child of the alchemist. You know what I mean? And and the rebus is the way that uh, 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 we get to it. 
You know what I mean? The rebus is the way that 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 we visualize certain things, metaphor, uh, use metaphorical speech. Um, um, the the way that 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 speech also comes to you when you're understanding symbolism, or or or, or when you're you're making study of symbolism, it comes through um, in the form of rebus, which is like in in a. I'll, I'll show some things about that when we get into this next talk, and. Um, it, it it basically metaphor basically helps you to crack open uh things a whole lot better than you would be able to with long drawn out conversation sometimes you know which is uh why why as as my talks go on i may start to just leave metaphor instead of making a long conversation about it though but i think at this point since i'm starting the page and uh i want to start you know, making making more of a rapport with the individuals that are listening. I would like to explain more of, of myself, who I am, you know, how, how a lot of these things I'm talking about applies to my life so you can see how they can apply to yours. But anyways, thank you for being with me here. Without further ado, I'm going to end this transmission. Until next time.